Okay, so in this step, you're going to make folders for each DVD that you want to rip to your hard drive and you want to display on your Windows Media Center. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now, if you want the DVDs to, to look nicely, to, to have high quality, they're going to take up some space on your hard drive. So on average, they take up four and a half gigs, which is a good amount of space. You can compress them um, with DVD shrink. You can make them smaller. But I like my DVDs to look nice. I don't want them lower quality than if I put the DVD into the uh, drive and watch it. So I actually have an external hard drive that's a terabyte. I would suggest going and getting one of those if you're going to have a large DVD collection. Um, if you're going to, if you're going to convert them and, and compress them, you can just save them onto your computer. If you're going to save them onto your computer, go ahead and um, select your personal folder, go into My Videos, and make a folder called DVDs. You can name it whatever you want, but I like to keep things simple. Just name it DVDs. And in here, you're going to make a folder that has the title of the DVD that you're going to put in it. So you can see right here I have, I currently still have movies on my computer's internal hard drive. If you're going to do an external hard drive, go to computer, click on your external hard drive, make a folder called videos, and in there DVDs. So it's gonna look it's gonna look just like it would on your internal hard drive. There's just a lot more space and it can be separate from your internal hard drive. So as you can see here, I I made a bunch of new empty folders. This is for the stack of DVDs that I own that I want to back up in the next day or so. So as you can see, they all have the title of the DVD that I want to put inside the folder. So it's easiest if you go ahead and make a folder for each DVD that you want to rip to your hard drive in this one step. You can come back and <clears throat> excuse me, you can come back and make these folders at any time. But you don't want to forget to do this, so I find it easy if you just make make a folder for each DVD before you start the other steps. Okay, it says it says I'm doing 300. I, I already did that. Um, I'll do a couple different DVDs in this video. I'm going to show you guys how to use the My Movies Collection Management, and I'm going to show you what to do if it doesn't work. So I'll I'll rip two different DVDs today. All right. So once you've made um, folders for each DVD, whether it be on an external hard drive or in your My Videos, you can go ahead and close it. All right, now we can move on to step number three. Okay, so in this step, we are going to actually start ripping movies to the hard drive and getting them to appear in the My Movies. So you're gonna open up My Movies Collection Management. Again, it just it came in the folder with the My Movies plugin. It'll look just like that. I think it looks just like that for Vista as well as Windows 7. So you open it up. It'll say My Movies 4 if you're on Windows 7, and I believe it just says My Movies 3 if you're on a Vista. All right, so you can go ahead and close that folder once it opens. And it'll look just like this, with probably without all the DVDs, because you don't have them on here yet. All right, so you're gonna pop in the first DVD that you want to rip to your hard drive. Um, Mission Impossible 3's on the top of my stack, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into my DVD drive. Right. Now you're waiting for passkey to pop up and begin to decrypt the video. It should pop up on the bottom right hand side of your screen. There it is on mine. And this is the other thing that you're waiting for pop up to pop up. In my movies, a a little disk inserted screen will pop up and it'll ask you to add title, copy disk, or cancel. You want to just leave it alone, don't click anything until passkey is done. 
If passkey doesn't pop up, you can double click the program, open it up, and hit start DVD fab passkey. That should start it manually. Um, when passkey is done, the movie may try to play. Simply close out of it. Okay. Again, if passkey won't start even if you try it manually, generally restarting your computer um, makes it makes it start working again. So that's happened to me a couple times. Um, if if it refuses refuses to start, I will show you how to get around the problem with DVD shrink later in the video. Okay, so passkey has gone away. That means it's finished decrypting the video. Now you want to hit copy disk on the disk inserted window. This screen will pop up. It says copy disk. It's going to show you the source um, and it's going to ask you where you want the files to be saved to. This is where you're going to tell it which folder to save to save under. You're going to select from the ones that you made earlier. So again, mine's, mine's under an external hard drive. If yours is under your personal videos, simply navigate, navigate there using this, this top window. Mine's already there because I've done this before and it'll remember. So I inserted Mission Impossible 3. As you can see, I have a folder that has that title. So you click it once and hit select folder. Now it'll show you in the destination that's going to that location. This is an important step. Make sure that you select the correct folder. All right. Now you're going to go ahead and click start and it'll ask you if you'd like to add it to your database. Just click yes and it'll begin to rip to your hard drive, whether it's an instern I'm sorry, internal or external. It might take a few seconds to start. And depending on the specs of your computer, it can take anywhere from two hours to as little as ten minutes. So just let it just let it do its thing. Um, it's gonna take it's gonna take a little while, so I'll go ahead and pause the video, and I'll come back when it's just about done. All right, I'm back, and this is just about finished. So again, it just depends on um, how what kind of stuff you have in your computer. The specs of your computer will determine how long this process takes. So if it's taking a while. Don't worry about it. It'll it'll finish. Um, so when it's done, so this process is completed successfully. Just hit OK, and you can close this window now. And it'll show you all the information that it found. So right up here, it says 100% complete. It means it it found all the all the actor names, um, found the front of the DVD and the back of the DVD, the covers, um, rating and all of that stuff. Once once it shows up in here, you can open your Windows Media Center. Just give it a second to open. Right. Then you can go into my movies. Sorry, my computer's being a little slow right now. All right, and make sure that it is in here. It'll be on the top top left hand side it just means it's still in the DVD drive you can go ahead and pop that out 